Uncle Fantastic, are you ready? Yes! Pirate Polly, are you good to go? Yes! Off you go! <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> treasure. No, it's a bomb and they want Captain Fantastic to disarm it. No, it's not. Look at the trails and the markings. It must be a treasure map to lead us to the treasure. No, it's a dinosaur egg and they want me to be the father. Oh. Do you really think so? No. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Close, but this is a rugby ball. Nice try. Hey. <laughs> from Harlequin's rugby team. And she played for England in the Six Nations. Wow. Welcome to another Captain Fantastic Adventure. So, do you guys want to learn some rugby? We yes. loved it. Yes, we loved it. So what do we need to know first about rugby? Well, does this look like a football? No, it looks like a football if someone sat on it. <laughs> so, correct, it's a different shaped ball we play with. Two, it's an invasion <gasps> game. Alien invasion! Oh, they're coming to us! not that tight. It's evasion, so you have to dodge um, and avoid opposition and find space. Oh, I'm good at dodging. And I'm good at avoiding hard work. Joking! <laughs> and three, uh, we use our, our hands to pass the ball, again to find space um, and then manipulate the defence, so you'll be doing some of that today. Awesome. Ooh. Shall we play our first game? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I got a high five! <laughs> okay, game number one. It's tail tag. Mm. You're going to get yourself a bib and a bib, tuck it in so you like you've got a tail. I've always wanted a tail. Oh, it's Polly the cat. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Pirate Polly, you're going to be between the red cones. Yeah. Captain Fantastic, you're going to be between the blue cones. You're going to go start on them, them lines. When I give one of you the ball, the object of the game is to score a try on the other line. Right. Let's see how it goes. Off you go. Game on. Game Captain. on. Here we go. Captain Fantastic, are you ready? Yes. Pirate Polly, are you good to go? Yes! Off you go! <laughs> <laughs> change the direction, change the direction! <laughs> I'm not competitive at all. Awesome! Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so. Yeah, good, good! Spin! Score! Oh. Okay, so. You're doing great! One more go. Okay, when we're doing... Here you go. So, 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 so. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> that was so much fun! That was tiring. <laughs> you guys did great out there. Well done. <laughs> okay, game number two. Now we're looking at passing. How this game is going to work is I need you spread out between the two rugby posts. Um, the ball's going to touch one of the pads and you're going to try and get it to the other end and back. But this time I'm going to time you and see how quick we can do it in. Touching the pads? Yeah, touching the pads. Start touching the pads. Let's go through and I'll show you how it works. So stand, Captain Fantastic near the closest pad. Okay. Pirate Polly over there. Yeah, so the ball will need to start here. So take a step away as long as it's touching this, this pad. There you go. And then you pirate Polly come a little bit closer on the line. There you go. So if I went three, two, one, go, the ball's going to go to pirate Polly, touch the, touch the pad, and then come back to Captain Fantastic. And then I would stop the timer when you got back. Ooh. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. Stop. So that's four point six one seconds. Well, However, that seems fast. we're professionals. <laughs> I've seen someone do it in 2.41 <gasps> seconds. Two! So how we, we pass the rugby ball is, first of all, ball's always in two hands. Imagine it's a bucket of water. I'm going to tip the bucket of water out and all I'm going to finish on is where I want the ball to go. My hands finish pointing in that direction. So two hands on the ball. I empty my bucket of water and I finish pointing to where I want the ball to go which was you, Pirate Polly. Yeah. They're your three pointers. Now let's go after 2.41 seconds. Woo! 
So we've got to go under four seconds to beat your previous time. Three, two, one, go. Four. Stop. Oh. Good one. Oh. <laughs> oh. Two point nine. nine. <laughs> oh. This is where we have a little rest. Oh. No, we don't. It's a punch bag. Ah. Oh. Unfortunately, you're both wrong. This is where we learn to tackle. Rugby is a contact sport, and when you hit the under nines, um, you get taught how to safely tackle. So that's what I'm going to do with you two. Wish us luck. <laughs> how it works is, um, this is my tackle bag. I want you to aim to cut the wasp in two. You're going to do that by planting your foot as close to the pad as possible. You've chosen your right leg, so it's going to be your right shoulder. You're going to cut the wasp in two. You're going to put both arms round, push with your shoulder, pull with your arms, and you're going to land on top of my tackle bag. Okay. Pirate Polly, watch out, because it's coming your way. I'm going to the Give the boss a big cuddle. I think that's what we're Are we ready? Do. Yes. Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> Same again. So we want to cut the wasp in two. We want to place our foot face forward. Face oh, forward. Yeah. Okay. We want to be really square when we tackle, so nice and forward. Again, right leg, right shoulder. Your head's going to go to this side. Yeah, your arms are going to wrap. And you're gonna bet, yeah, and then you're gonna push forward with your shoulder back with your arms and land on top. Forward of it. with the shoulder, back with the arms. <laughs> yeah, that's like, okay, okay, so you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna go to level two of your tackling. So rather than be stationary, we're now gonna move it a few steps back. How this is gonna work? Same technique. So foot as close as possible, same foot as shoulder. So you can go left foot, left shoulder, right foot, right shoulder, it's up to you. And then I'm going to aim to cut my wasp in two. So I've got three points, foot as close as possible, same foot, same shoulder, cut my wasp in two. Sounds Hopefully, good. once we've done that, we've come a few steps back, it should look something like this. Whoa! 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 That wasp hasn't got a chance, baby! Level two, you get a run up, kill the wasp. Kill the wasp, I hope it's got a B team. Okay. <laughs> Good tackle. Yeah. The crowd goes wild for Pirate Polly. Woo! Awesome. Woo! Okay, level two. You get a run up now to make the tackle. Destroy this wasp, cut it in half. Okay. Let's go. Are you looking at me? I don't see anybody else here. You must be looking at me! <laughs> Did I win? I think you won! Yes! I'm the winner! <laughs> Brian has told us that the safest way to fall is knees, hips, then shoulders. So don't think head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. You've got to think knees, hips and shoulders, shoulders. Knees, hips and shoulders, shoulders. Okay, so now we've tackled on our tackle bag. We're moving to a bit more like rugby where we tackle each other. How it's going to work is Pirate Polly, you get to go first. Yes. You get to tackle Captain Fantastic. Technique is the same. So you're going to get your, your, your right foot as close as possible. You're going to tackle your right shoulder. Because now it's a person, yeah. you're going to put your cheek by, on his bum cheek. <laughs> I try so, not to do a windy pop. Cheek to cheek. So a bit like we were aiming for the wasp, we're now going cheek to cheek. Okay. Wrap your arms around. Yeah, for a big the, hug. For a big, big hug. hug. Oh. And then you're going to push with your shoulder, pull with your arms. It's not going to okay. feel like a big Let's hug, Let's give it a go. It? Let's no. give it a go. Okay, can you count us down? Are you running in or standing still? You have to stand still. Oh, good. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Three. <Ooh>. Go down. <laughs> two. One. <laughs> it's a beautiful sunny day here at Twyford Sports Ground, which is where the Wasps FC play and train. I'm with Bryony, and what I want to know, Bryony, is if you were a young girl and you really wanted to get into rugby, but you were thinking, nah, it's a bit of a boy's sport, it's a bit too rough, what advice would you give to them? 
oh, just come, come and give it a go. I think <laughs> rugby for me was where I had the most fun. Um, I came down, I had my sister, my brother, and I spent so long just watching my brother play, thinking that I couldn't get involved. And then one day, it was a muddy training session, and, I, and me and my sister just joined in, and we just never looked back. We had so much fun, and it's where we enjoy sport the most. It was something that we enjoyed doing. So if you enjoy it, if you want to go give it a go and you find you like it, then there's nothing to say you shouldn't do it. And it's like everything in life. There's nothing that should be that, that particular type of person or, or shouldn't be. We should give everything a go. And if we love it, do what you love. And yeah. if that's rugby, then we do rugby here all the way from two years old to 18 and then to adults. So anyone, Two years old? Absolutely. That's any, so young. <laughs> anyone in West London that was looking to play rugby, this is a great location, but you can go onto like RFU websites, keep your boots on and find your local rugby club and get down and give it a go. Okay, okay. So like you've played for England, so like what was that like? Yeah, like, everyone has a child dreams of, of representing your country in a sport. I got to do it for England, I got to be a professional rugby player, so I kind of got to live out my dreams. But again, like you say, if I hadn't have done that at a young age, when yeah. I was seven years old, if I hadn't done it, I wouldn't have been able to do what I've done today and represent my country and, and win the, the, the trophies I have alongside my sister. So all I need to say to people is go give it a go and I know you're going to join the, the women's team at the weekend. Yes! Am I? Yeah. I am. <laughs> I am. It's time for a Captain Versus. Today it's Captain Fantastic Versus... Pirate Polly! Brian is going to show us the challenge. The challenge is they're going to have three rugby balls set out on cones and they've got to score a conversion. So it's as quickly as possible to score as many of these as, as they can over the rugby posts. It looks a little like this. Whoa! Easy! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That looks easy! Yeah. You first, Pirate Polly. <laughs> Ready! Good luck, Pirate Polly! Here we go! Oh, oh. oh that was really close, though. Wait, how do I get it up? I think you have to go okay. underneath it more. Ball number two. Ball number two. I did scoop it. Head over the ball. Head over the ball. Yeah! Oh! Beat that, Captain. I have to say, Pirate Potty was very good, but Captain Fantastic is going to be better. <laughs> Do you think? We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. just! Just! <laughs> okay, second one. Ah. Go! Ah. No! It's all to play <laughs> for! I haven't got the technique like you had, though. <laughs> right, last one! Head over the ball. Head over. Oh! No! No! <laughs> Thank you to Briny. And the Wasps FC for having us. Unfortunately. Fortunately. Pirate Polly won the captain versus. So she gets to pie me in the face. Oh, ready? Not really. Three, two, one. <laughs> and remember, stay, stay fantastic. fantastic. Oh. She doesn't, miss. she doesn't miss! Hello to all of my 12, oh sorry, 13 followers. I'm here today riding a horse. I don't need a horse either. I don't know where the thing is. <laughs> Easy. Maggie, darling. L lovely shot. L lovely. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Maggie, Maggie, yeah. So you were great, darling. You were great. 